Alrighty folks, how's it going? I have what I hope will be a helpful video today. Um, you usually get questions on Facebook and forums and whatever else, uh, YouTube comments. Um, people asking, do I need to tune my bike, uh, get a remap or whatever, uh, after fitting a new uh, exhaust can or an air filter and so on. So, um, I'm just making this video just to try and clear up some, some questions. Uh, hopefully you'll, people will watch this um, uh, and gain something from it. So, uh, according to Wings, uh, I've also heard it from what was my local dealer. Uh, you can fit an exhaust can with the baffle fitted or change the air filter lid. It didn't say what to what kind of filter, it just said the air filter lid. Uh, you can change them without um, da -da -da -da, needing a remap. The, the bike's uh, management, the emissions system, whatever, uh, should be able to hand that, handle that on its own. Um, but anything else, uh, any other mods, uh, so if you take the baffle out, change the filter, change, even remove the airbox for a, a different one, uh, or fit a, a big K&N pod filter, or something like that, uh, then yeah, you, you will need to, to do something with the fueling. Um, just the, the standard system just isn't up to, uh, up to that. Um, so the standard system, or whatever, uh, is set up to run uh, an air fuel ratio of 14.7, uh, uh, which is kind of optimal for uh, emissions and um, like uh, fuel economy and so on. Uh, it's just to get it past Euro, Euro 4 regulations. Um, so while it's not bad, for performance it's a bit lean. Uh, for, for power and so on. Um, usually want an AFR, uh, an air fuel ratio of 13, 13 and a bit. Um, different bikes run uh, better with more or uh, slightly more or slightly less fuel, but around 13. So yeah, if you're doing any more than uh, just changing the can with the baffle in or changing the air filter lid, then yeah, you, you could do with getting the fueling sorted. Uh, so there are a few options. Option one is you can get your dealer to put the aftermarket or Evo map on. Uh, now depending on what country you're in, uh, probably depend on the dealer as well. They might be being an arse or uh, they might want you to buy the tuning kit uh, to get that map. Uh, the tuning kit is the Acro exhaust and um, a different airbox uh, along with a different airbox lid. Um, but yeah, I, I got my dealer uh, to to put that aftermarket map on at about 600 miles, um, just after the first service actually. Uh, it cost me about 20 quid, it was just, basically it was just half an hour's labour um, to put it on. Some might put it on for free, others might try and charge you a silly amount. Yeah, so the dealer map brings that down to about 14 uh, for your air fuel ratios. Is uh, which is good, uh, it would be great for some, uh, you know, it's still good for economy and stuff. But if you want to get balls out power, then it's it, it's a no-go. Um, another option is a fuel dongle. Um, Rottweiler do a fueling dongle. Uh, I'm sure there's another third-party company, their name escapes me at the moment. Um, but yeah, it basically it just plugs into where the exhaust gas sensor would be. Uh, it tricks the ECU into thinking it's it's a bit cool uh, or or whatever, or it, the, the bike's running lean, so it adds more fuel. I don't know how much it brings it down by. Um, it might only be a few points, but it's enough and it's better uh, for the bike. Uh, you don't want it running hot and stuff. Uh, what way am I gonna go? Another option is getting the ECU, the original ECU, remapped. Um, there's only one in the UK that I know of. Uh, there may be others that, that can do it, but the only one that I'm aware of in the UK is DWR, or Dave Wood Racing, uh, way down in Aylesbury on the south coast, or near the south coast. 
Uh, mm, red Thai curry. Um, I don't know of any in other countries, but that's the only one that I know of in the in the UK. Uh, they, they do a lot of remapping and tuning. Um, then there's the most popular, which is the fit in a power commander. They're available from a lot of tuning shops. Um, some might do you a deal. Just while I'm in here. <laughs> yeah, so I, I got mine from um, an independent tuner in uh, near Blackpool. Um, and he done us a deal for actually getting the bike tuned as well. Uh, so yeah, it, they're widely available. You can buy it from pretty much any man and their dog, or you can just get one off eBay and run one of the maps off their website. Uh, there is quite a good one on the website. It's quite rich, uh, and it's a, it's a good safe map. Um, It'll probably do you for for any kind of normal riding, but yeah, if you want it balls out power, if you want every last drop of power out of your bike, then you, you're better off getting it dyno tuned. Um, set the fueling, set the timing, and you'd be good to go. Uh, I think that's it. No, um, another option is another ECU. Um, it's the Cooper ECU. Uh, apparently it's just plug and play. I don't know if it completely replaces the ECU or whether it's a, another piggyback type thing. Um, I see, we see it pop up a few times on the Facebook pages, but I don't know if anyone's actually installed them or uh, th there's not much information about them actually being fitted to bikes. So yeah, another one that I can't really comment on. Uh, but. I think Cooper actually work with um, manufacturers, so I think you can actually fit a Cooper ECU and uh, I better not use that lane. Uh, still keep your warranty, which isn't too bad. Can't complain of that. So yeah, those are the tuning options. Now that you don't. Have to, um, you don't have to go about and get your bike tuned, um, but to save any potential problems, uh, like fucking frying your piston rings or whatever, um, from from running the bike with mods, um, like uh, like an open air box or uh, a pod filter and a, uh, an exhaust can with no baffle and the, the full header pipe and just the stock system, you're running pretty damn lean um, you probably are going to do some damage uh, but I don't know of people that have done that but anyone that does do that well they're kind of asking for it and uh, yeah they, they should probably know better as well You don't have to get tuned, but it is advisable. Mm, slippy cobbles. Nice Audi. So the option that I've gone for um, is the Power Commander, purely because it was the easiest option. Uh, it took a bit of fiddling to fit, but those type of jobs I always take far too long to, to do anyway. If I was to do it again, I'd probably go down the same route as well. Purely because the Power Commander is such a, a big and well-known product. There's lots of support out there and they, they rarely go wrong. So it's a win-win, winner-winner, chicken dinner. Anyway, I'm going to go and park my bike, nip into town for some bits and bobs. Uh, yeah, so if you like this video, hit like, share and subscribe to your pals if it has helped you on your tuning quest. 
uh, th this video kind of applies to uh, a lot of other bikes as well, not just the 701, if you're tuning in general. Um, yeah, so like and subscribe, hit the bell icon for notifications, and until next time, cheers!